Hello and welcome to the sixth installment of the Tana for Teams uh, series. I want to talk a little bit about how you can mix private and business workflows or team workflows. I'm taking a page out of uh, Cortex Futuras slash Lucas Cabarau's interstitial journaling uh, workflow and I'm using that and mixing that with my own. Uh, link below on to Lucas's video. I'm also talking a bit about emergent structures. As I said before, I think this is really is the secret superpower of Tana that you can build, um, that you can build your structures as you go along. And that is super, super powerful. Check out what, I've, what I'm doing, even if it's nothing major. And I'm also adding a bit of how-tos to our Tana for Teams workspace because I, we found in our team that um, having a description of what, what all these uh, fancy shiny things actually do is really helpful to the team members because they are not involved in the design process. So they will have to have some guidance on what is expected from them. Finally, it's a longer video than I thought it would be. Uh, I'll pimp our meeting tag. I'm, I'm starting out with a team meeting tag and let's see what we can do to synchronize about all the work that we're doing. So I want to show you how a, a regular work entry could start out. And I'm going to use uh, Lucas Cabarau's or Cortex Futura's um, microcycles to show that you can mix and match uh, both personal and uh, teamwork in no problem. So I'm going to record uh, the sixth video. That's what I'm working on right now. I'll remove the lock and set it to be a microcycle and then fill out the uh, microcycle. And I'm so I have filled in the stuff that we have in the microcycle and I now can start to work on my first nanocycle and a time Ooh. nanocycle. Uh, my energy is uh, pretty good. S pre is right. What am I going to do? So this is a nanocycle, but I also want to track this as a work log because why not? Um, so start time works as well, and time and the task is related to the TFT06 video, team meeting sync governance, which I realize is not the video that I want to film today. So um, let's go in here and fix this. For the team video series, um, I have a number of, of things, of tasks here that I want to do. Um, and I realized that I actually want to film that video another day and uh, instead do a uh, work on the how-to page and emergent structures. So that's totally fine. I can rearrange that, do that as a task, time video series. And the thing that I realized that um, if I look at the activity stream here in my team space, I noticed that I've been the only one that has been doing any work. Now, I have invited other people to uh, come and help me here, uh, even if it's just for pretend they uh, didn't have they haven't shown up yet, um, and why might that be? And I, and I think um, if you are coming into a workspace that is not set up by you, but by somebody else, then it is a bit daunting to actually know what to do. So what we did in our team is to set up a how to uh, use this page. So I'm going to do the same thing, how to use this workspace. And make that bold, and it you can see it shows up in the sidebar. And in this, uh, let's zoom in here. And in here, I think a really neat way is to show what it is that you're actually 
doing here in this works, why it's, it is used, and how the different workflows and data structures and so on work. So I'm going to start filling this out. So after a bit of writing, uh, we have this first overview here. It gives us a, a description of what the sidebar is doing. And I would like to make you aware of the description of a node. By pressing Control I, you can add descriptions to nodes. And it's really helpful, uh, I think, to describe what a node is doing or what a field is supposed to have in it. So I'm going to do that like this. Um, and we can go on. Um, another section that might be helpful is how do I do? And uh, we could have things like how do I So I realize that these three entries here all have something in common, they're how-tos. And working with Tana and having these emergent structures, I think I want to tag them as how-tos. So these are the Tana for Teams, add tag, uh, Tana for Teams, how-to. And we're going to create a new one. And I'm not sure what we will have in here exactly yet, but just making um, this is, this assignment kind of makes my inner nerd happy. And um, we could, for example, describe the problem and how to solve it in here. That seems to make sense. So if I expand one of these nodes, uh, I, so I want to record a meeting and take notes is my problem statement and I solve it by and here I have the solve sure to fill out all participants and add a new node so I'm building up a knowledge library so starting the second nano cycle here as we did before and I'm I have different things that I have in mind on, on how to emerge structures here in, in the, in the uh, way that, that I handle work. And I think that I want to spend a little bit of time on the, on the meeting, uh, actually. So we had a, a meeting about uh, town tennis. Let's, let's go to the, today's work. Um, meeting about the uh, uh, work sync, for example, and I have uh, I'm meeting with myself um, because weekend, why not? And I'd like to think about um, showing the, the the work that we are as a team, uh, as a team of one. That we're currently working on. So I have the the work view here, where I have all all kinds of tasks that are ongoing, and I'd like to structure my or make a special kind of meeting to to talk about work, and that is a um, a synchronization meeting, and I'm I'm taking ideas from sociocracy or holacracy, where you have tactical meetings, strategic meetings. And uh, or in, in the, the way that we work in our company, we have synchronization and governance meetings, sync and, and uh, governance meetings. So a sync meeting is to talk about what, what you're doing at any given point in time. And uh, a great thing to talk about is, is what are important tasks that need to be thought, uh, talked about. So I'm actually, if I go back to our meetings here and I'm going in here, I'd like to change that tag to be a team meeting tag that I'm creating. I'm removing the meeting tag here. And the team meeting tag um, inherits from the meeting. I don't want to do all of this uh, again. It contains something new, though. It contains a list of work. And I'm going to do that in the in the default content, I'm creating a search node, uh, question mark, right arrow, hit return. 
and I'm going to search for all things to do. Um, see what, what we bring in here. To do, we have a, a bunch of to do's, and I want to have to do's that are not done. And where the status, uh, remember we have a status field in here, uh, which is to do, doing, waiting for, whatever. Um, I only want to talk about things that uh, maybe we're doing or waiting for. Not not all the stuff in the backlog and certainly not all the things that are done. Also review. So I'm say adding an or expression and I'm adding a field, the field status in to do and I want to see fields that are, that are in doing that are stalled and that are needs review and let's see if we missed something to do doing waiting for so are, are we waiting for anything waiting for uh, run that and this boils down to just one um, one task that is left now Eventually, I want to. Uh, no, I don't. So I'm going to change the view here. Uh, do a table. Um, that sounds good. Status assignee due date project. That is perfect. So I'm going to rename that and say these are our sync tasks. I'm going to save that. And now, when I have a team meeting, and I'm in a sync meeting I see all the tasks so um, let's go to the to do create another meeting or another task a pretend task um, So I have this task here. Uh, we have a printer that needs to be installed. It's stalled for some reasons. Uh, maybe cable is not. What kind of cable? The VLAN cable is not in stock. So that's why this task was stalled. Back to our meeting. To into our work sync, and I can see I have the list of tasks here that we need to talk about. Now, this list here um, is, of course, dynamic. And if I tick off things, um, if I, for example, say this one has been uh, done, you see the, the typical mismatch uh, because it no longer fits the query, then it would rem get removed from the list. And the next meeting that I'm doing will not show that sync. Uh, these tasks here that we have. So how do I keep track of what we talked about uh, during the meeting? How do I sort of persist the, the status of this list? And there's a, a really neat trick that you can do in Tana. You click on the, the actual search node, command K, and convert to plain, no search. And if you do that, uh, the search options are gone. And these two nodes are now just in this list uh, as references, and you can um, you can still you still have the filter uh, options. Let's see if that works. By the way, it does. It's, uh, that's really cool. Reword your changes. So this list is static, but if I check off this printer stalled, it will be removed from the workspace, and it's kind of kind of. And that is kind of counterintuitive. Uh, it it seems like it should be it should stay here. And this took me a while to understand. There is a setting in uh, in the preferences that says show completed items. And if that is turned on, you can check off a task and it will still be here. 
if you turn it off the completed items disappear now i think it makes sense especially for this kind of workflow to show the completed item so you see that um, the item has been done you can actually um, just before i forget that you can actually uh, do something more you can say in a meeting okay um, we we need to talk about these things here but actually this one here is not that important so i'm removing the reference and you end up with only the uh, for example only the tasks that you actually talked about in the meeting which is a form of meeting minutes that you have so really really powerful the convert to plain text command and it allows you to uh, take a, a search and turn it into a static reference and continue to work with that that was that for now uh, see you in the next installment.